What's good, Chavis family? How y'all out there doing today? I hope y'all having a marvelous, marvelous day. Um, Today, I am doing day two of the 100-day challenge with myself. Trying to prove to myself I can do it. So, yesterday, I don't know if I told y'all, I took the letter that I need to take to the housing authority, to the housing authority. Now I'm waiting on them to get back in touch with your girl. <sighs> Hopefully I'll be moving soon. Um, I just basically want to talk to y'all about that. Um, and y'all, next week is my youngest, which is Melba's birthday. Birthday. I'm trying to come up with some ideas. Or to see, I'm trying to see if y'all know of anyone that makes, um, like birthday out, excuse me, birthday outfits. Preferably, hopefully, I mean, I would like a TikTok outfit because she want her birthday theme to be TikTok. I found the part, um, and I'm just trying to make the best of the situation that I basically can. Um, and we're going to do a small little birthday party, which I will bring y'all along. But if y'all know of anyone that does, um, birthday outfits or whatever, just let me know. And I definitely be, we'll be trying because we're going to do it on April the 1st. So that's part of my hundred day challenge. So, I definitely will be bringing y'all along with me to the birthday party. Um, um, what else I want to talk to y'all about? Um, so, I've really been trying to plan this birthday party and get everything together as far as that goes. I'm, my, my attention span ain't that long. That's being honest. Like, I'm being serious right now. My attention span is not that long. So, I be up, down, here, there, everywhere. Especially since what's been going on. Yesterday, um, I can tell y'all what happened. I got up yesterday. Um, I had already took a letter to the housing authority. And, um... The first one, it didn't hold no weight, I guess, so to say. It it didn't push me nowhere. So, basically, what I had to do was get another homeless letter uh, from places that does the homeless letters and take it to the housing authority. So, that's what I did. I want to say in the end of last month, I want to say at the end of last month, I took it to the housing authority, couldn't find out. The caseworker could not find the homeless letter. So, like, I'm I'm tripping at this point. Like, I'm like, and she was like, I've been looking. This been going on two weeks ago. And she told me she was going to call me, and which was this week, just gone and tell me, you know, when to come in to sign my lease, basically. Um, she never called me, so I was like, you know, well, um, what's going on? So, something told me she should call up there. So, that's what I did. I called up there, and, um, she basically, I asked her, I said, um, did you find the homeless letter? And, um, if you didn't, do you want me to go get another one? Like, I took the initiative this time. I I called, and I, I was, you know, I asked her, and then that's when she was like, well, yeah, because I still wasn't able to find it, and basically, I needed another one, so I got up yesterday after I talked to her, and then got my mama to take me to the housing authority, so, well, I went and got the letter, they wrote the letter out for me again, and um i took the letter in there and the last time i didn't let them um what you call it i didn't let them uh make a copy of it last time 
which I should have, but I wasn't thinking. I thought, you know, the la the first letter I get, took up there, they gave it, you know, to the housing authority, you know, gave it to us. So it shouldn't have been a problem, but I wasn't thinking, I guess. I ain't gonna say I guess, I wasn't thinking. So, y'all, so I went, I took the letter up there, and she was like, you here to drop this letter off? I was like, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I need a copy of it. And she was like, you need a copy of it? I said, yeah, this is the second letter I done brought up here. Like, <laughs> the, the first time I brought a letter up here, um, I told him I was, I, um, I was dropping off my homeless letter and you know he said he was going to make sure that my caseworker got the homeless letter long story short I guess he got fired or he no longer worked there but now they can't find my letter that's <laughs> that's crazy to me like <laughs> so I took the letter up there and to make a long story short I stayed there until they copied the letter and she was like oh i'm gonna make sure that he get the letter and i'm like like the last time like the you know i'm not gonna go through this again basically i need my homeless letter i need whatever i need to get to so i can do what i need to do like i'm not gonna be you know go through this again like i'm not gonna do that again so that's what i did yesterday and it's like you redoing what you already done or already fixed. It, you, it, it feel like something. And then y'all, let me tell y'all, I like I said, I took the permit test. I failed. I said, God must have been with me for real. Because had I not had my Georgia ID, my listen to what I said. Had I not had my Georgia ID, I wouldn't have been able to get a letter. So I was glad I fell the first time for my permit test. Like <laughs> I'm going back to try again, but and I'm I'm embarrassed to say I fell, but I'm glad I did because had I not failed, I wouldn't have been able to get my letter. I would have been out of luck. Mm -hmm. So like it's just, it was a lot. Like it's a lot that I've been having to deal with as far as. Staying with people and their attitudes. Things not going a certain way. Um, now it's like the attitudes is getting worse, and I don't, I don't understand it. Like, <laughs> I'm to, I'm to my breaking point. Like, I'm, I'm getting there. It's crazy. So I was like, I'm doing the hundred day challenge. I'm on day two. I'm going to keep working until I get to my goal. This is my plans. So, y'all going to hear from me every day. Um, So, I ain't want y'all to think I had forgot. Because I, I didn't. I didn't forget. But, it's uh, yesterday was a trying day. Let's put it like that. Like, um, because my kids was invited to one 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 birthday party but they weren't gonna make it because the car we was using um basically in the shop i ain't gonna say it is in the shop and we've been waiting on the man to call my dad and them back about when they can come get the car so it's like a lot of stuff that I've been going through is just them being, you know, just out there. Um, and a lot of people like, your kids can't come to my birthday party and this, that, and the third, but we don't have number one car. Like, my dad and them got that car. They, they, uh, SUV, but my mama worked. So we can't take that car and go to a birthday party and my mama get off at seven. Dirty. can't do that so it's like when you got one car that's what you got to work with so that's what i'm learning to deal with now i'm still waiting on the man to call back about the escape we haven't heard anything 
My daddy said he called them already, so hopefully we'll hear something soon. But if not, we know what we gotta do. It is what it is. And hopefully they can they can call here uh they call about the apartment, then I won't have this problem. Once I get back to Georgia, you know, I don't have to change my kids bus. So that's the plus about the situation because they still will be riding the same bus that just be getting put up in the uh, apartment complex. But until that day come, I'm going to keep y'all posted. But until next time, y'all, peace, one love. Bye.